hey hey everyone and welcome in or welcome back it's a monkey mar before we get into today's video please make sure you click that subscribe button the like and the bell for notifications all right guys i have been patiently waiting to get into this video let's get into part of 15 of the nefarious melissa caddick how suspected runaway con woman Melissa Caddick spruiked her transparent services and lured in alleged victims with small talk about trips to Aspen as police revealed details of their private chats with her husband. So we've got documents, screenshots reveal how Melissa Caddick drew clients into her web. In Facebook messages, she cheerily suggested a meal with potential customer. Other alleged victims reported meetings with Caddick to get them to sign up. Info packs she provided to interested parties allegedly failed to withstand scrutiny. Comes as detectives revealed details of husband's cooperation with police. Police investigator said Anthony Coletti's behavior is different to the norm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Melissa, Melissa, Melissa. Where are thou? Melissa Caddick sent a potential customer a cherry hello on Facebook and made small talk about her lavish overseas holiday before trying to lure them into her web of financial misappropriation. Facebook messages reveal how the accused fraudster approached potential investors so she could allegedly roar millions from them and a Ponzi style scheme. Sometimes I read some of these words like Rort Millions and I don't even know what Rort means, but now I'm gonna have to find out. Acquaintances of the missing woman and court filings have spelled out how exactly, how caddict, would woo potential clients even offering to meet up for a meal to win their business. Would love to see you. The vanished Dover Heights woman told one possible client in December of 2014, according to the leaked text. Let me know when you are free, even dinner after work slash weekend. We'll talk to you about what I do, service offer, SIC, and fees, she said before, adding, reassuringly, it's very transparent. I do not think there's anything transparent about you, gone girl. Caddick is a subject of growing public fascination with police recently taking the extraordinary step of revealing details of their discussion with her husband, Sea Monkey Grower, the unemployed DJ and hairdresser, Anthony Femboy Coletti. About her mysterious disappearance, he's not suggested to have played a role in it. No, because his brother said that he's too dumb. Caddick vanished from her $6.2 million Dover Heights home shortly following a raid by the Australian Securities and Investment Commission in early November of 2020. She hasn't been seen since, leaving behind her two teenage son, husband, elderly parents, and a ballooning list of aggrieved alleged victims. You're such a naughty girl, Melissa Caddick. Daily Mail Australia can reveal how Caddick's alleged trickery was hiding in plain sight. With associates sharing the initial info pack, she initially emailed to possible customers. The financial services guide outlines how her business allegedly worked and her apparent qualifications and experience. The seven-page document looks legitimate but doesn't stand up to basic scrutiny. The Australian Financial Services license number Caddick repeatedly uses in the document actually belongs to another Sydney advisory firm. The corporate watchdog has alleged in court. Guys, we got that court date in like uh, five days. A potential client could have found that out if they had punched the number into a register publicly available online. Incredibly, Caddick's info pack even spelled out what customers could do if they weren't happy with the services she provided. They could complain to her in writing 
or in what could be described as a breathtaking act of brazenness. She supplied details on how to contact ASIC or the Financial Standards Ombudsman. She's definitely a smart little cookie, this Melissa Caddick. I say this as a joke, but Melissa Caddick, if you're listening, you can come out and hide with me in Maine. If you need a place to stay, just let me know. <laughs> I'm only kidding, guys. <laughs> or I have a friend in the UK that you can stay with. <laughs> The prospective client was invited to come see Caddick. She mentioned meeting up if I was interested in going ahead. I said I wasn't, so I never heard anything further from her. Several clients only realized in recent months that little of what Caddick had been telling them for years was allegedly true. Cheryl Craft Reed, a long-term client of Caddick's, told Daily Mail Australia she and her wife Faye invested with the missing woman. Her family had known Melissa for 25 years. I would love to talk to Faye and Cheryl. The couple handed over 800000 to the superannuation to Caddick to invest five years ago. So we already know this part of the story. And if you've been following me, you definitely know it. So I'm going to go ahead and just go slowly through if you haven't read this part or if you don't know this part. Since Caddick went missing, Miss Craft Reed has comprehensively reviewed records of their dealings. We've been through every email, every report, and there's heaps we didn't see, she said. Some stuff we picked up and went back to Melissa, but she explained it away. But there were other things we just didn't see. And in hindsight, we didn't look too closely because it's Melissa. Remember what? was said in my last video, if you ever live in Australia and you want to invest your millions, no family, no friends, do it at a firm. Anyone with information about Melissa Caddick's disappearance is urged to contact Crime Stoppers on 1-800-333-000. That's so funny, it looks like you guys are um missing a numeral. They are saying that Melissa Caddick's Sea Monkey Grower Husband is behaving differently. This is from the police. A lead detective investigating Melissa Caddick's disappearance has said her husband Anthony Coletti didn't behave in the way a spouse typically would after their partner goes missing. Detective Inspector Gretchen Atkins told 60 Minutes on Sunday Mr. Coletti's behavior was slightly more restrained. And if anyone caught the 60 minutes the devil wears a dior i thought they did a really good job with it he isn't always ringing us which is different to what we would normally see she said he's doing what he can to assist us when we ask for help i think he struggled to be what you would expect to be proactive mr coletti told investigators he assumed his wife had gone for a walk in her active wear at 5 a.m on november 12th 2020 but left her phone wallet and keys behind okay so before she was going on a run and now she's going on a walk it was 30 hours before he reported Caddick's disappearance to police Mr. Coletti thought she just might have gone somewhere and would come back it was unusual Inspector Atkins said Daily Mail Australia does not suggest Mr. Coletti has any involvement in his wife's disappearance no, because he is not smart enough to help her disappear, but he probably knew she was going to disappear, but just not the details. This is why the son was probably left there. How come nobody talks about the ex-husband and concerned about his son being with a man that grows sea monkeys in the house they live in? I don't know, but... <laughs> Wouldn't it be ironic, like I always said, if she actually walked in to that courtroom on this coming up hearing? Ooh, gone, gone, a gone girl. The last part, but definitely not the least. <laughs> Anthony Coletti and these little boy smiles, like he's always so giddy and excited like he's at Disney World. 
So, Melissa Caddick, above with her current husband, Anthony Coletti, told a potential investor that her business was very transparent. Now she is believed to have been on the run for close to three months following a raid on her home by the corporate regulator, ASIC. Yeah, that face. And there's always, well, her purse is there, so who knows. So here are some of the messages. Would love to see you. Let me know when you are free. Even dinner, work, weekend. I am certainly investing. So this is from Melissa Caddick. Looks like Facebook. Would love to see you. Let me know when you are free. Even dinner after work slash weekend. I am certainly investing at present and have private clients. We'll talk to you about what I do. Service, offer, and fees. It's very transparent. Looking forward to seeing you. XX. December 15th, 2014. Hi, a blank. Welcome back to Sydney. Given today's events, it's changed a bit, hasn't it? So where are you going to be living? How is work going? I think I'll stay away from the city until we get back from Aspen. It may be a little difficult to get around given increased security. Suspected runaway con woman Melissa Caddick sent these messages to an acquaintance interested in her business back in 2014. Caddick's reference to today's events is to the Lint Cafe CH in Martin Place. The customer did not invest with Caddick. Well, lucky for that customer. All right, here's little Anthony Coletti looking a bit a little bit like he's aging. Caddick's house husband, Anthony Coletti, at the family's 6.2 million home in Dover Heights this past week. A detective made some telling remarks about his. And then they just left me to be surprised or wondering. And then this is one of her. Caddick is accused of using another woman's financial services license number. The fact the number did not belong to her can be verified with a simple check via a public register. And this picture, this one definitely takes the cake with me. So this is the day that the police raided her mansion and she was watching them, I guess, go through her stuff. But how come he's not wearing a COVID mask? Okay, police are treating this footage capture during the raid on Caddick's home office in mid-November 2020 as her last confirmed sighting. Look at the look on her face. She's in shape, though. I mean, she definitely can tell that she's in shape. And then here we got her documents boasted about Melissa's alleged 13 years spent working as a financial advisor, but included typographical errors such as the above she also made claims to be a certified financial planner but her name doesn't appear on publicly available registries so they considered that a dodgy spelling masters of business and here we must be, oh he looks sad look i wonder how come they can't get a picture of him leaving the garage like i would pay somebody who lived in sydney to go here and to film him leaving that house in one of those cars. Mr. Coletti has kept mum about his wife when approached by media in the months since her disappearance. The lead detective in the investigation has said Mr. Coletti is behaving differently than spouses often do when their partner goes missing. Got some ink. Probably going out to see one of his um, friends. All right, let me see if I have time to touch on a few comments. I can't get over the smiles he has. Do you think that the smiles are forced or do you think that he's just that dorky? I'm going to have to go with maybe a combination of both. My thought, my final thoughts on this are, I think Melissa Caddick has been planning this for a long time i also do not think coletti actually knows where she is but i think they've probably had the conversation that if she poofs 
they've had maybe a burner phone or she's talking in code as like one of his friends who knows but listen i'm sure the asic is much smarter than melissa caddick and anthony coletti she had to have known that somebody was going to catch up to her so she probably banked as much as she could she did what she did and i'm sure coletti knew or or and why would coletti leave the house when he's getting paid forty seven hundred dollars a week to live in a mansion in dover heights guys drop comments opinions you know i'd love to hear from you I will also do a follow-up on this video and touch on the comments because this video was actually getting a little bit too long. And with that, it is going to be a wrap. I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for watching. Please like or dislike, whichever you prefer, and subscribe. Everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay vigilant. I am out.